I sincerely apologize for how late these podcasts have been coming out recently, and that's because your boy got a little bit of health care, and I've been trying and taking new medications. I haven't had medications for six years. I'm trying to get adjusted to these things. I'm sleeping over, over an hour and a half, two hours on the regular. This is crazy, but it's also good. So my apologies. I will get better with that. Swinging and banging on the ones and the twos. Self-care Sunday and your boy is about, what, three, four hours late with these gratitudes. I'm Kendrick Gavant, the professor here at the University of Gratitude. And all I'm doing every day is leading y'all, showing you all, that writing down these stories of what's going good is how you put yourself in a better place. That way you're a better parent, a better spouse, a better leader, a better teacher. Today, Sunday, November 13th, is World Kindness Day. And on this day, it kicked off in 1998. Some say it was in Sweden. Some say it was in Japan. Regardless, it got going in 1998. And it's that easy. Today is the day around the world you're stopping just to show some kindness to strangers, to kids. Show some kindness to yourself. That is the most important key. Show some kindness to yourself on World Kindness Day. Forgive yourself for everything that you haven't done yet. Forgive yourself for the things you didn't know before you did whatever it is you did. Forgive yourself for the mistakes that you have repeated. What you have to do is show yourself kindness on World Kindness Day. We got a whole different perspective here at the University of Gratitude. It is World Kindness Day. And I want everybody rocking with this. Everybody rocking with this global platform to show yourself some kindness today. <laughs> got three gratitudes for you all. Only three. I know I've been stacking them up. I've given y'all more than five. One day I even told you things that I didn't write about. I'm just I'm just going to hit y'all with three today. Here we go on a self-care Sunday. Number one, I got out the house on a surprise trip last night. That took my mind off of clocking in for work. That took my mind off of trying to get more OT hours. I needed that break. Football and basketball were the main conversations. There were a couple of guys there. We had good topics. And I broke out my King's News. Actually brought the topics that I've discussed on King's News. King's News. And I brought those up last night at the at the get-together. It was actually my niece's birthday. Shout out to her for inviting me, allowing me to come through. And that had everybody talking. I mean, I had three generations talking. I haven't had somebody speak to me last night that I had never spoken to before. Introduced herself and everything. Mind blown. Yeah, that was a whole bunch of fun last night. A thousand thank yous for that getting out. I mean, I needed that, man. I needed to get out of this house. I needed to break away from everything. And so, that's what I'm grateful for. Gratitude number two. I am grateful for charm. So I told you all, Tom is my bank. When I was in Ecuador, I've explained how we got to Ecuador. And on day one, they hit us with the identity, the, the identity crisis, whatever, the identity confusion. So we, in, we were in Ecuador last year, got three kids, and can't access any of our accounts. I mean, from PayPal to Chom to, I forgot what banks my wife had, we, we couldn't access a damn thing. Let me tell you why I'm grateful for Chom today. So we were kicking it last night. I told y'all I got out the house. We're out celebrating. Yesterday was also that national, um, the national happy hour day. So we had a good ass time last night. So the time bank, I end up paying one of my cousins, paid him for, I paid him 
Tried to pay him through the charm, through cash app. Wasn't going through. End up paying him through the charm. I ended up paying the wrong person. I paid the wrong damn me person. That whoever I paid has the same name as him, and it's off by it's off by the number twelve. Yeah. So either way, the process for getting your chime your chime refund was really simple. I used the app, logged in, went to, I disputed the claim. They said someone would call me. And you know how it is whenever a company says somebody will call you. You you never know when that's just gonna happen. I clicked on somebody called me, and I mean they called me right away. So I went through the process. Um, it's a 45 day wait to recover, but you can get some of your funds within 10 days as a credit. I need the credit because I got to pay for my medical stuff this week. I got three appointments and I know I can't afford. I got to get those MRIs done. That's the most important thing. I got to get the MRIs and the CAT scans done. But either way, the process for Tom, like like I just read to you, it was easy. Logged in on the app, did I disputed it? Somebody called me. Somebody called me right away. She was really really cool, really really nice over the phone. I got transferred like two or three times, but either way, every every time somebody was nice and telling me what was going on. Will the shit work? That's what we're gonna find out. But damn, I can't lie. That was a really smooth transition. Over with, maybe it took maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and I believe it could have been faster if I knew what the hell I was doing. They're just guiding me and passing me on along along the way. And 45 days is really not that bad to recover your funds, because I don't know who the hell the person I paid is, but shit, when this podcast blows up, you just know that money Kendrick Avant sent you was not for you. Damn. Damn. I know whatever you were doing, it... I'm sure it was a blessing to you, but damn, dog, like I really do got shit to do. I needed that cash. So whatever, man, a thousand thank yous to Chime for the easy, for the easy refund process, getting that, getting the weight off, whatever happens. I feel like I've done what I'm supposed to do and we'll see what happens. Yeah, the stress is, the stress is a little bit less. Yo, Kendrick, what's your next gratitude journal going to be? I want to get ready since we only have three days left. Girl, I'm going to use a spiral because I have some personal things in my life I need to work out and get arranged. You can only do that with a spiral. Last gratitude because I'm telling these long stories, man. That's the reason I only put down three today. Number three, my mom sent me a cup holder, some wheelchair. She sent me a wheelchair cup holder, and it has a cell phone holder on it. That is huge, man. That's uh, little bitty things like that. Having a cup holder right there, so I'm not trying to put a cup between my legs or, ooh, yo, big love, mama. Yes, I can get around the house a little bit easier. I got some wheelchair gloves, and I told people about the wheelchair gloves. Dog, doing this, you get all type of scratches and dents and cuts and abrasions. Your hands get fucked up doing this with the wheelchair. Coming through the doors, because you know, our doors are hardly ever met, built for wheelchairs. So coming through the doors, you're constantly banging and bruising up your hands. I got I got my first wheelchair gloves. A thousand thank yous for calm. That, that's going to help out with that physical pain a whole lot. And then, yo, she sent me a new booty cushion. Like the kind of cushion that you put underneath yourself to help out. Because my shit has been hurting, dog, sitting in, the, putting in these 12-hour shifts. I got in. Putting in these 12-hour shifts. That's crucial, man. That's crucial. And that new booty cushion, not only is it smaller, it's like a it's like a gel. So you, it's smaller, it's lighter, and it feels better. So, man, thank you for the comfort. I needed that. Needed that. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. I'm out.